the music box. This is a 21st century version of a timeless mechanical marvel. So how does it play beautiful music at the touch of a button without electricity? An orchestra of 329 highly tuned parts work in harmony. Over 5,000 microscopic pins on a brass cylinder carry the code for eight minutes of music. A metal comb with 92 sharp teeth tuned to perfect pitch. Powerful springs give extra long playback. And a tiny mechanical conductor keeps a steady tempo to make music with that special metal magic. Every one of these tiny pins has to pluck the right tooth at the right time. The secret to how they do this lies in the way the maker builds its intricate brass cylinder. Music on a cylinder is defined by the location of all the pins. Every note has its own pin. So in this case, I need to accurately place 5,000 pins in a brass cylinder in order to play that musical program. Jonathan Hertz is a master music box maker whose creations are unique. He works out of a small shop in his backyard in Vermont. Nobody other than myself makes a music box which is an actual reproduction of 19th century golden age music boxes. The music boxes may be historic, but Jonathan's tech is straight out of the 21st century. While his predecessors put these pins in by hand, Jonathan has built a computer-controlled machine to do it all automatically. The computer knows the location of every note in the tune, and this is the machine that uh, selects that location on the cylinder, drills a hole there, and inserts a small piece of music wire into that hole. Each tooth on the comb of a music box plays a single note. As the cylinder rotates, the tiny pins pluck the teeth as they move past. So Jonathan must position each pin precisely to play the right note at the right time. There are very subtle changes, tempo and timing, that the human ear can hear that is measured in tenths or even hundredths of a second. And with this slow-moving cylinder, the pin needs to be located within just a couple of thousandths of an inch. The pins on a music box don't just play one song. They play eight. This is how they do it. Each segment of the cylinder carries eight rows of pins. Each row plays a different tune. When a song ends, a tiny cam rotates one-eighth of a turn shifting the cylinder sideways just 0.4 millimeters. The teeth of the comb now engage with the next set of pins, which play a brand new track. To turn the cylinder at all, the music box needs power. It runs like clockwork without electricity, thanks to the way Jonathan installs the main springs. The springs may be small, but loading them can be dangerous. This um, spring has enough energy in it to, should it fly apart all of a sudden, cut right into flesh. The main springs start out as flat, flexible 1.8 meter pieces of metal. Jonathan must coil these up into a space just six centimeters wide. Once it's in the spring barrel, it's completely safe. It will never fly out and bother anyone. But until then, it is a potentially dangerous storage of potential energy and sharp steel. Here we go. This provides all the energy that uh, the music box uses when uh, it's being 
played, we wind it up by turning the shaft and it unwinds uh, by turning the cylinder. The coiled springs store a lot of power. To make sure the cylinder doesn't spin out of control, a mechanism called the governor uses air resistance to keep it in check. This is one of the most important parts of the whole box. If for any reason this governor fails, the cylinder would spin extremely fast and destroy both the pins on the cylinder and the teeth of the cone. The gears spin the governor a thousand times faster than the cylinder itself. That fast rotation makes big wings beat against the air. The faster it goes, the more wind resistance these fan blades generate. This acts as a brake on the fan blades to stop the cylinder from spinning out of control. This handcrafted music player is a masterpiece of precision engineering. And thanks to 21st century technology, enthusiasts all over the world can still enjoy the old-fashioned sound of metal on metal. Thank you.